Hi guys, this is Sadek from Broadband.com and in this video, we'll show you how to watch Netflix on any rooted Android phone and it will also allow you to fix various Netflix issues such as in OnePlus phone you might get an error minus 93 or in some phones you might not get by one L1 certification and apart from that in some phones even the Netflix app might not run in the first place if you have unlocked the bootloader or if your phone has obtained root by a magic kernel issue or a patch so in this video we'll show you how to get this job done as of now using the latest method this is one of the most complicated and most riskiest but this is the only one which has given me success so please keep this in mind we are using a lucky patcher app for the un unaware this is one of the most riskiest app in the android ecosystem so to so move ahead with caution and at your own risk so with that said as you could see currently i have obtained root via magisk and if i launch the netflix app it will not be able to run on my phone and it's saying it could not reach the netflix service and it's giving an error code minus 93 and 15001 so you might get any one of these issues as well on your phone if that is the case then please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let me show you how to rectify the issue using let me downgrade ls post and lucky patcher first and foremost it's obvious your phone have to be rooted by magisk so if you have just unlocked the bootloader and you're facing the issue you will then have to obtain root as well it's recommended that you use magisk and not kernel issue and a patch even though they might also work but magisk is highly recommended once that is done you will now have to install ls post framework on your phone i made a separate guide and a video on the same still let me show you once again how to get the job done so if you are on android 15 then you have to use the either the fork 1 or the fork 2 but if you are on any other android version till android 14 you could use this official download link the thing is that the official ls post has not been archived so it only supports android 14 and some other developers have made a fork of this version and then you could install it on android 15 as well this is for the android 15 build and the official one is for the android 14 and older version just make sure that you install the zygis version and not the redo version so get hold of the zygis zip file once that is done launch the magic app on your phone let me place it in the next page itself so launch the magic app on your phone and then hit the settings icon and enable the toggle next to zygis it will ask you to restart your phone you may do a restart right now or let's do a restart later on because we have to Flash quite a few modules. Now go to the module section of Magisk, tap on install from storage, and now select the LS Post zip file, tap on OK. It will now be flashed onto your phone. Likewise, you will now have to extract the LS Post zip file on your phone as well. You may also extract it on your PC if your phone does not support zip extraction. Let me see in my case if it supports or not. This is the LS Post zip, so go there, extract to parent folder, and it has extracted. So inside the ls post folder you will get a file named manager.apk this is the file you will have to install this app tap on it and it will install the ls post apk onto your phone so tap on install and the app is now installed but don't open the app now let's now proceed ahead and we have now installed the ls post so next up you will now have to restart your phone for ls post to be activated so now tap on reboot and our phone will now restart with the ls post framework running in the zygis environment after that we'll also have to install a couple of other open source apps the sai app is required and hide my app list are all open source but the let me downgrade is also open source but the lucky patcher might not be an open source app and therefore it's quite risky but in our case there is no other way out so you might also try using the second method which is the libom crypto disabler but it's not working for some and for those users this will be the best method out there so with that said launch ls post and make sure that it's activated and running so go to module and as you could see currently we have no module installed that's not a cause of concern moving ahead you will now have to install the sai app and hide my app, app list from github i already have both this app let me simply install it both of them have their own apk so just give me a second so first one let's is the install the sai app it will be installed used to install the split apks for netflix and all the other requirement then you will have to use the hide my app this is optional but is required to hide root from various 
apps from netflix for example you could hide the hide my app and then you could hide magisk ls4 framework you could hide all these app from the netflix app using the hide my app list i show you how to do that as well as of now simply install the apk is likewise also install the let me downgrade using the package install that tap on install do not open any of these app as of now finally simply install the lucky patcher app as well and hit install you will get a warning tap on more details and tap on install anyway then again tap on done and with this we have installed all these apps now you may launch the ls post app on your phone so launch ls post go to modules and we have the three modules over here so what you have to do is go to each of these module and enable the toggle next to them and under next up you have to go let me downgrade enable the toggle next to it and in the case of let me downgrade you will also have to check mark the sai app so do that as well again i'm re repeating in case of let me downgrade make sure you you check mark the sai as well apart from the two usual system framework and the system ui likewise enable the lucky python installer as well once you have enable all these three modules you will have to restart your phone so let's do that as well so guys our phone is now booted to the os so our next course of action is to enable the let me downgrade app so expand the notification toggle and simply tap on the app downgrade toggles once that is done you will have to restart your phone which you have already done and the modules are now activated let me verify the same ones launch ls post go to modules and as you could see they are now up and running now you will have to install a couple of netflix apps first and foremost install the netflix 2.2.0 so you may directly download the app from this link and let's now install all these apps at once first off it's the apk version 2.2.0 which should be somewhat here itself this is the apk version select package installer and tap on update okay one more thing if you have any pending netflix app installed on your phone please uninstall the app so in my case there is an app already installed so make sure to remove the app from your phone this is extremely important once you have removed the app let's now install the it if your phone came pre-installed with the netflix app then you will have to remove the app via the adb command or you have already obtained root you may use any rooted method to re remove the netflix app from your phone so moving on our first course of action is to install the netflix version app 2.2.0 so this is the first one select package installer tap on install now you will have to open the app and sign into your account as well so let's wait for a few seconds for the app to launch and then type in your username and password over here let me give it a few seconds so let's log into the app and then after typing in your email then hit the enter key wait for a few seconds and then you will have to type in your password so let me do that as well just give me a second and type in sign in you will now get a prompt that please update netflix to the latest app do not tap on ok simply minimize the app once that is done let's now proceed ahead and again now you will have to install the netflix version 823 so let's do that as well this is the netflix version 823 select package installer tap on update and the app will now be updated so again you will have to open the app and wait for a few seconds you might get a warning sign and error message such as the minus 93 again simply minimize the app do not tap on ok or do anything as such now type on now open the hide my app and let's make a blacklist for the map for the netflix app so what we are doing is we are in fact hiding the root from the netflix app and for that we will be hiding a couple of apps from netflix so choose template manage make a blacklist template give the name as netflix and under zero apps invisible tap on edit list and let's choose the list apps list of apps so let's hide it from the hide my app list let me downgrade L lucky patcher ls post magisk so we are hiding all these apps from netflix now go back and as you could see five apps are now invis invisible so again go back again go back now go to app manage select netflix from here enable hide and it's already working in blacklist mode so don't do anything there now tap on using zero template 
check mark netflix and tap on ok so it's now using the netflix template in which we have added five apps so the apps are now hidden from netflix so once that is done you will now have to install the netflix version 7 one four four zero so let me do that as well this is the apk version package installer tap on update and give it a few seconds and let me discuss one more thing so initially we had the netflix app version 823 and now we are installing the 71440 so in fact we are, have just done a downgrade and that is the reason why we had installed the let me downgrade app and that is the reason why we had enabled the app downgrade toggle because only after that we will be able to do a downgrade so once you have installed the downgraded app do not open it just tap on done once that is done now you have to launch the magisk app so let me launch magisk go to settings menu go to configure the deny list select the netflix app and enable the toggle next to all its three services once that is done you will now have to launch the netflix app so let let's launch the netflix app now and you will now get a 15001 error message which is completely normal and nothing to worry about so minimize the app and you will now have to delete the app cache i am talking about the cache and not the data keep this point in mind so data usage and clear the cache of this app storage usage clear cache and tap on force stop as well once you have carried out both this task you will now have to download the netflix version 7440 this is a split apk and for installing the split apk we have to use the sai app which we already have installed so make sure you have the sai app now open the sai app tap on install apk internal file picker allow and now let's choose the apk version it's the 7440 7440 should be somewhat here so let me cancel it and verify it once again so netflix this is the build as you could see which i have selected it is an apk m file apk m is an apk bundle or split apk so which you could only solve via the app such as sai app so select the app tap on select and check mark install and the app will now be installed you will have to enable allow apps from the source and tap on update and the app will now be updated so give it a few seconds for the app to be updated and do not launch the app let it install the app which will take a few seconds so let's just wait and you might face an app ui bug which usually happens with this app that is not a cause of concern just wait for a few seconds and launch the app and as you could see netflix has been installed do not tap on ok just do not tap on open simply tap on ok to remove the app to remove the dialog box again i am repeating do not launch the netflix app simply tap on ok to remove the dialog box once that is done now comes the most riskiest part so launch lucky patcher and allow the file access and first off it will ask you to use random app name which is recommended because otherwise some third party app might identify the app and will not allow you to use lucky patcher so tap on yes it will randomize the app package name and in my case the app package name will be shown as something like this as you could see so tap on install and it's actually the only the lucky patcher app but it has simply been renamed so tap on install anyway and tap on the and you will also get a magic request so tap on grant tap on done and it's recommended to open the ls post app from there and you also enable the toggle from here as well so once that is done you will launch the lucky patcher app now and there are a, a couple of permission which is required so tap on provide and while using the app allow 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 manage to files now go back and then tap on start uninstalling the installer this is required to remove the app from there and after that it will ask you to remove the warning from the google play product as well you may skip this for now once that is done you might get a net an update prompt on your phone for the lucky patcher as you could see it's now available it is highly extremely important that you do an update so for that tap on update and it will now download and install the latest update file which will take only a few seconds so you have to wait for around a couple of minutes for the update to appear once that is done tap on install yes and it will update settings allow from this source update and the app has been updated tap on install without checking tap on open 
and keep while using this app so if you do not get any update then you may go to the settings menu hamburger menu and from here tap on update lucky patcher and then you will get the latest build of lucky patcher in my case i am already on the latest build once that is done you may now tap on the netflix app tap on menu of patches and now you should see the you will get a warning or rather a prompt that an update has been found so tap on update again this is very important that you update this patches if you don't do so then you will not get the option of custom patch currently as you could see in the older build there is no option of custom patch that is why i am doing an update and now we will get an update of custom patch as well so give it a few seconds tap on ok and go back and again tap on menu of patches and this time around as you could see we are now getting the option of custom patch so after tapping on the netflix app wait for around four to five seconds you will get an update of the custom patch tap on ok update once the update has been done go back and again choose netflix and now you will get custom patch and as you could see you will get netflix full hd and apart from that enable full hd and gr10 so tap on apply and it will now apply the patches on netflix once that is done it will take just a few more seconds and you may now launch the app as well if the app does not launch then it's not a cause of concern simply remove the cache and force stop the app and then it will launch without any issue so let's just wait for a few more seconds and now tap on launch and the netflix app should now launch on your phone without any issues so let's verify the same okay one more thing you will get this dialog box please tap on cancel and you will not have to do an update it is extremely important that you don't update the netflix app to the latest build because otherwise it might lead to quite a few issues because the patch which we have installed as of now is only available for a particular build let me show you that build as well which i am talking about the patch has been tested in build number 7440 build 5 and that is the exact build which we are using so if you update the app then the patch will no longer work as of now you could see the app is working well and good without any issue whatsoever and you may play the any of the videos on your phone and guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and if you don't want to use lucky patcher then you also have a couple of other methods so for example you may use the libom crypto disabler method as well you just have to flash the module and then have to remove the data of netflix and it should work but i haven't seen much success rate with this module apart from that if you are on kernel su or a patch then you may use a new modified libom crypto disabler module and then try it out then we also have one more method of carrying out the set task but this method also requires you to use ls post and this is an older build on the other hand the build the method which we have used is now is the newest is the newest method so method one and fourth both require this is the first method the first method and the fourth method both require lucky patcher but this is an older method and this is a newer method but that said lucky patcher has always been known to be quite a risky app so proceed ahead at your own risk and always take a backup of all the data on your phone and guys on that note we round off this video all your queries regarding the same are welcome in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching